Third seeded Bronx facing second seeded North Dakota in the Great West semifinals, and Aaron Urbanis opens up with a three. Jesus Delgado had a big game, including three straight first half baskets, starting with this layup. And then how about the pick by Mason, leading to a nice roll to the hoop. Followed by this bank shot. Delgado had 13 points. Next time down the court, Delgado misses, but Josh Cleveland rocks the rim with the putback. Later on, it's Jared Marie. The Bronx led by as many as 16, but fall to North Dakota 63-59. After the game, Bronx head coach Ryan Marks addressed the media. Obviously not the outcome that we had, uh, had hoped for, but uh, uh, you know, privileged to be a part of a good, uh, a good college basketball game. I think uh, when the season starts, uh, we're all hoping to be playing meaningful games uh, in March. So to, uh, uh, you know, to the credit of, uh, of our guys to have earned the, the certain third seed and playing the semifinal, and, uh, and come in and play, you know, in a very, very good, well played competitive uh, uh, game. Um, uh, something that we have to feel uh, feel very good about and, and proud about for our guys. Um, I think you have to give uh, uh, North Dakota a tremendous amount of uh, credit. They're a very good team. Obviously, they're the returning uh, tournament champs, and they have a good understanding of, uh, of how to win close games. And they have a, a, a good... Um, barometer of how to deal with adversity over the course of the game. I think they, um, they showed both those things uh, in stellar fashion today and, um, uh, and obviously made, uh, made a couple of great plays uh, down the stretch for which they should be uh, obviously commended. You held uh, UND scoreless the last eight minutes in the first half. What were you guys doing well in that stretch? Well, I thought, um, I thought our defensive communication was very, very good. Um, and uh, you know we got a couple of good stops that seemed to kind of uh, uh, kind of snowball uh, to where we where we built some good uh, uh, good momentum and, and continued to play with that same um, intensity defensively. And I think uh, I think at that point North Dakota got a little bit out of sync. So I think you know part of it was uh, was us playing well defensively, and part of it was you know we were able to get them out of sync and. Uh, and they didn't really get their footing again until the start of the second half. Well, what kind of turned it? Or is there anything to figure out? Well, I thought that, um, you know, we knew that that, um, that limiting them in transition was going to be really important because, um, you know, they really play with, in essence, like two point guards, uh, Anderson and Webb. Both are terrific in the open floor, uh, and Huff is a great athlete who can get out and run. So um, I thought in the second half early, uh, you know, we had we had some uh, some shots that weren't necessarily bad shots that didn't go for us, um, but we, we might have let that carry over into our uh, into our defensive transition, and they really got to the uh, got to the basket and that got their momentum. You know, that, that helped them to gain their momentum. Um, just last one, um, the final minute. Was there anything you'd like to see done differently, or a different shot, different? Yeah, um, you know, I think. Uh, uh, that last possession, uh, well, not, not the very last, but you know, it was, uh, I think they called timeout with about 40 seconds left, uh, up one, and, um, you know, held, held the ball through the shot clock to get a shot at, at 11 or 12 seconds. And I thought um, our guys played, you know, played pretty good defense, but maybe we're a, they were a little tentative. I thought for maybe half a second, um, uh, Cleveland was a little tentative when he was helping on the ball screen, and, uh, and Anderson is too quick and too good. Uh, to play tentatively. So, you know, if, uh, if we react a little quicker and he misses that shot, then uh, you know, we have the ball going the other way to win. Um, instead, he's able to, to draw the contact, make the basket, and, and won, and obviously kind of seal the game.